Hey adults, level two, level three. It's a fun little drill for you guys. A little warm up in the middle of their day to break up the, uh, well, whatever you're doing. So, um, so in this video, just a little interactive type of video here, okay? So I'm just gonna spar with you guys a little bit. I'm just gonna throw out a little jab, a little cross right there. I want you guys to work a little bit of your body movement, a little head movement, right? Okay, just a little side to side kind of there. Keep your hands up, elbows in. Don't let them start to get a little bit uh, out of control and don't lose sight of those, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna throw a front kick. I want you guys to work on giving a little bit more of that sort of like hinge, right? Where your body just kind of opens up, your hip opens up, just like a door. You got the hinge on one side, you got the handle on the other. When you open the door, that hinge stays in place and the door just swings around. Well, here's the handle to the door, right? Where the label is on my gi, okay? And I'm just gonna sort of let that door open up. So when I do that front kick, I want you guys to open up that door as if I tried to kick the door, but the door wasn't there because it got opened up at the last second. So here's the way that you guys can go. You can go either direction, right? I can go this direction, okay? Or I can go this way from a right fighting stance. Okay, right fighting stance. I can go this way right here. Boom, okay? The goal is to keep all your weight on the forward leg. Let that backside just move nice and light, okay? Same thing here. Just a quick little, quick little opening, okay? So when my front kick is coming in after you, you're just gonna open up that hinge, right? You're just gonna, right there. Okay, cool? All right, now, when we go for the, uh, the, the next kick I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a spinning hook kick. When you see a spinning hook kick, when you see the spin start, okay, you have really kind of, well, you have a few choices of direction here based on our tempo wheel. But what I want you to do is when I go to spin and I start that motion, I want you to move complementary to that spin. So if my spin, is going clockwise, I want you to also move clockwise, okay? So for instance, here we go, right? I'm gonna make my spinning hook kick here, and because my hook kick's coming around this direction, you're also going to move that direction, so you sort of hide within my movement as it happens. And my hook, my, basically my hook kick just ends up chasing you, okay? So I'll show you the hook kick, right? Boom, right? And you just kind of work your way around there, okay? So again, I'm gonna keep it kind of slow for now. All right, so you guys can get that pattern. Ready? Boom, there you go. All right, hands up when you move. Here comes that hook kick. Boom, okay? When you do that movement, here we are. That hook kick's coming around, that right hook kick, okay? I can step, I can shuffle, I can pull drag. It just depends on how much, how much movement I need, okay? So I can step drag here, I can shuffle real quick, or I can just take that step. And move right past it. Okay? Alright, so again, we hinge on the front kick. Boom. Hinge. Good. Complimentary evasion with that spinning hook kick. Okay? Just make sure you're moving the right way. Again. There you go. Good. Roundhouse kick. Similar to the hook kick, you're just gonna go the opposite direction. Or you can go straight back. Or you can duck. Just like in the hook, if you wanted to, you can duck, it gets a little risky, but you can still do that, okay? So fade straight back, move your complementary diagonals, or duck against the roundhouse kick or the hook kick. Ready? There's the tell, right? I set myself up sideways, most likely I'm spinning now, okay? Boom. the hinge. There we go. Spinning back kick. Looks like a hook, moves like a front kick in a line. How do you know which one's which? I guess you don't. Okay, just watch for the shoulders, watch for the hips. Okay, if you don't see the knee flaring out, you're probably going to have a back kick. Probably. Okay? If you do see the knee flaring out, you're going to have a spinning hook kick. All right? For the back kick, you can simply move perpendicular, east-west, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You can move straight away. Or again, you can try to slice that line coming in after you with the diagonal line. Okay? So you can kind of use the same types of movements on all three of these kicks with the exception of the duck. You don't duck a linear kick. Okay? All right? So here we go. Ready? So is it a back kick? Boom. Here's the hook, here's the setup. 
is a front kick. Okay? Pivoting side kick. Looks like roundhouse kick. Pauses. Sets up in a different manner. Comes out linear, like a front kick. Okay? Keep your hands up, so in case you don't know if it's roundhouse or not, you're still protected. Okay? And then when you see that linear movement come out, then you treat it just like any other linear movement. Okay? So again, here we go. So, reading shoulders, hips, staying mentally relaxed, but having your body ready to go, that'll help you sort of read what's going on and respond better. Okay? So, work on that, and then uh, if you want to see it faster, just fast forward. All right, guys, enjoy.